Hi, welcome back. This is Venkat. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create VLANs on Palo Alto Firewall and uh, set up the DHCP servers. So let's actually start diving into that. So this is my uh, previous setup from the previous videos and I'm going to set up layer 2 interface VLAN configuration on Ash 4. So now let's change the interface type to layer 2. Select the VLAN. We do not have any VLAN so let's make it security zone. I have a trust VLAN 2 security zone available so I am using that. Going to advance, make the link state up. Okay. So now let's go to VLAN. And this is a layer 3 v this is a VLAN interface which is layer 3 interface for the VLAN. So now we are going to tag our layer 2 VLAN to this layer 3 VLAN interface. Select the VLAN. Select the virtual router default. It is on. I'm going to use trust VLAN to layer 3. TV4. I'm going to enter. Once I management profile, I'm just using inside VLAN. all good so this is good now we have to go interfaces are good now let's go to virtual router and advertise this vlan to the osp of what we are have running on the firewall go on to the interfaces add interface select vlan So this is it. So now we have now we are going to advertise the this VLAN to the OSPF routing product the OSPF routing table. Okay, now I think everything is good. Okay, we have assigned a layer two VLAN, layer two interface, and then a VLAN to it. And now let's uh, configure the DHCP server to get an IP address, any machine that is connecting to that VLAN. Let's select the interface VLAN. Enable ping before it allocates. So I have given the IP pool range. Yes. So now everything good. Now let's commit. And for your information, I have already configured the security policy. And if you follow my previous videos, you would see the security policy I have applied on this firewall. So we did not get any errors, and the VLAN configuration was successful. Let's see what's the interface this green okay that's good cloud uh, cloud post machine dot This virtual machine is free of use, free of cost. So you can download it from uh, GNS3 website. It, it provides a link for you where to download that. Let's verify whether we have an IP address or not. Connection information, I have an IP address 10.10.22.4. See whether we can reach outside network. 
we do not have the access to that paste let's ping gateway okay i can reach the gateway And can reach the other networks also. Let's see my DNS server is resolving it or not. Okay, I can't reach the DNS server. Maybe I did not configure the NAT for this. Yeah, I did not configure the NAT for this um, security zone. Okay, I did not create any NAT because uh, um, I want to make a a video dedicated to creation of NAT on the firewall. So in the next video, I will show you how to create the NAT and we'll finish it. We'll finish the basic firewall configuration, a simple protocols, and simple security policies enforced on them on it, and get the access to the internet. And later on, we will keep on diving into the additional features that we have all in the next generation firewall. So this is how the setup is just to rewind um, it is simple select the interface change the interface type to layer 2 select the type VLAN security zone make the interface up same thing is go to the VLAN is VLAN interface Select the VLAN you want to tag tag it to it. So case VLAN 2 and select the virtual router it is going to assign. Select the security zone you want this VLAN 3 VLAN L3 interface to be. Then give an IP address, which is going to be a default gateway for the subnet, enter subnet. And in the advance management profile for the interface and then click OK and click commit it that is it so now you have created a successful VLAN on the firewall thank you for watching see you in the next video take care bye bye